Greetings folks, in this video I'm going to be showing you how to use the SpeedyB app to connect to your flight control board via Wi-Fi using the Wi-Fi adapter or via Bluetooth uh, using the inbuilt Bluetooth on SpeedyB wing boards. Now as you can see I already have uh, my SpeedyB F405 wing board powered up. It is generating the uh, Bluetooth and I can tell that because we have the green light on uh, and it is solid, so let's connect. There we go, we're connected. Uh, and you can see the animation is moving, that's all good. And uh, let's go to expert mode. And then we get the entire INAV configurator setup capability. Uh, let's go through some of them quickly accelerometer calibration exactly the same as you would do on the INAV configurator mixer we can choose the platform we've got airplane and uh, VTAIL and we can change the timers if you need to add motors uh, adjust the weight on different mixes save and reboot every time of course Outputs, we can enable outputs and we can uh, adjust weights and midpoints and reverse channels if we need to. Ports, all the usual port setup, you can choose your receiver port, GPS port, and you can't mess with UART6 on the F, uh, F405 wing board because that's used for Bluetooth. Configuration, we can make all the configuration choices there even uh, adjust the battery current monitoring there to get your current readings correct fail safe selection we have got return to home and the pit screen this is a screen that you would probably play with out in the field and uh, mainly I would uh, play with the pitch feed for to get a nice feel for flying in acro early on you can change the P's and I's if you want to I rarely change them I often just leave it as it is and also in the mechanics uh, what I often do is play with the fixed wing level trim. You fly it in angle mode and if it's descending you may need to increase the fixed wing level trim or if it's gaining height all the time you may need to reduce it. That's just to give it a little bit of nose up uh, attitude. Advanced tuning, there's the auto launch settings. Uh, here's the uh, fixed wing navigation settings and I would play with the cruise throttle to get a nice efficient cruise speed uh, if you're going too fast and wasting battery you can drop that down a little bit which is what I often do and uh, I like to allow manual throttle increase logic conditions not something I ever use receiver now I do have the receiver turned on and you can see it's uh, Bluetooth is quite laggy uh, so you're not going to get lightning fast response on the screen there but uh, you're going to be able to check that everything is working in the correct direction anyway which is what you need to do all your modes, you can set up your modes and set up your mode ranges, as, of course, as usual. Adjustments, not something I've ever played with. Uh, the GPS screen, this one's an important one, although I know my GPS is working correctly there. So uh, you can scroll down and see that the total messages are counting up, so you know that it's actually searching for satellites, so that's all working well. Board alignment. Now the other day I went out with a new build and I had copied over a diff, uh, mainly for the OSD, I forgot that the other stuff was in there, but that had set the board alignment at at 180 because in the other build I had the board facing backwards. Uh, so when I went to fly, uh, it was fine in manual, it was fine in acro as long as I was operating the sticks, but as soon as I stopped operating the sticks it would... Uh, dive down or roll to the left or the right sort of out of control and in angle mode it would just flip upside down and, and go out of control so luckily I could get back and down on the ground connect up the app and correct the board orientation back to what it was meant to be which was zero like that and I could continue on with the flight session you can load missions create missions and all that sort of stuff although I'd rather do that on a computer I think OSD, this one doesn't seem to be quite right. That is not the layout I have on my in my goggles. Work in progress, that one I would think. LEDs, black box setup. 
and the CLIs. So that's all the stuff you would normally set up on the computer, only you can do it out in the field, which is fantastic. Uh, up here we have a few extra things. We can have a look at demo mode, uh, demo iNav. Uh, that is just for mucking around with iNav when you haven't got a plane connected. And down here, toolbox, we have uh, firmware. We can load firmware. Pro 5 wing firmware version, the latest version, full chip arrays, download, connect the flight control board, then you can do your, your flashing. I'm not going to do that. Bill Helly and Blue J configurator and ELRS configurator as well. So you can uh, flash, build and flash your firmware for your Express LRS receivers. Pretty cool. What I'll show you now is what happens when you uh, fire up the Wi Fi adapter. to do all of what we've just done, but with a, a non speedy B flight control board. We have a red flashing light. What we need to do is disconnect the Bluetooth. There we go, speedy B adapter. We'll join that Wi-Fi network. Got a green light on the adapter there, so we know we're good. And we have the blue light showing we are uh, available to be connected to the Wi-Fi network. Start tuning. And bingo, there we go. We've got all the same stuff again via Wi-Fi to a non-SpeedyB board. So what we're going to do now is go out in the field and uh, show you setting up a SpeedyB F405 wing on my Talon GT. First time I've flown this INAV setup, so there will be a few little tweaks we need to do. So let's head out to the flying field. Okay, so we're out in the field. I have a new INAV build with the Speedy B F405 wing in my modified Talon GT. Uh, I haven't flown it yet, so there will be a few parameters I may want to tweak, such as the uh, board pitch trim. Um, I usually preset it at, at four degrees. That just puts the, the nose of the plane up four degrees uh, so that it will fly level. At the moment I've got it at zero, so I should be able to fly it, see if it descends a little bit in angle mode, and then adjust it uh, using the Speedy B app. Flies are going to be annoying. Um, I'm not too sure about the feed forward on the elevator. I may need to increase or decrease that just so that I get a, a nice feel in acro mode. And the other thing I might look at is uh, the cruise throttle as well. I don't want it going too fast and wasting battery in cruise mode. I just want a nice, efficient cruise uh, speed. So and we'll be able to play with that as well. So, okay, let's get it up in the air, go for a fly and see how it feels. Okay, we're up and cruising. That's feeling good. So let's try angle mode and we're definitely descending so we need to... I oh know, we're holding steady really. That's not too bad. We are too. Maybe we're in the lift. Anyway, it's going pretty good in angle mode. Bring it back around. So maybe I don't need to adjust the angle mode. It all depends on the angle the board is mounted, of course. All right, let's try cruise mode. Cruise. And what have you got? Seven amps or so. It's probably a bit higher than I would like. I could probably drop the cruise throttle down a little bit. bit sluggish in pitch in acro, pretty good in roll, so I'll increase the pitch feed forward a bit yeah definitely let's try angle again I think it is descending a little bit to 
28, 27. Yeah, it is a little bit, so I'll lift the pitchboard trim angle a little bit. Maybe reduce the cruise throttle and increase the uh, elevator feed forward. All right, that's uh, quick and easy. Let's attend to those using the app and fly again. Lands rather fast, this thing. Now I'm going to disconnect the video transmitter because that is heating up. Let's put that in the shade. Uh, now we can fire up the app. It's going to be a bit hard in the sun and I'll have to sort of insert screens of what I'm doing later on because you won't be able to see what I'm doing in the sun. So I open the app. The uh, little blue corner is shown up in the F405 WBLE icon. Connect. And we are connected. Let's go to expert mode. Uh, so we are in advanced settings. So we'll go to the cruise throttle. Let's drop that down to 1330. 1335 maybe. Save and reboot. That's saved. With the PID gains I'm going to increase the pitch up to 120, pitch feed forward, and in the mechanics I'm going to increase the fixed wing level trim up a couple of degrees. Alright, we'll save them. Okay, we've done the adjustments and uh, let's see how it flies now. So, I am using a different battery which is a bit lighter, so that is going to affect it as well. So yeah, that the elevator feels better. I could even use a little bit more, although that's fine for cruising around. Angle mode. We are gaining height slightly, now we're steady. So I'm pretty happy with that, I think. Gradually gaining height. Oh no, up and down, up and down, that's good. All right, we'll leave it at that, I think. That's uh, plus two degrees is good. Cruise throttle. And that's, uh, yeah, dropped it by uh, about an amp worth of current. So all good tweaks. Yeah, very good, very good. Could even go down to 13.30 as I thought, I think. For a nice efficient 100-ish uh, milliamps per kilometre. Yeah, so very good. So I could keep, keep going on tweaking if I wanted to. Um, but I'm pretty happy with the way it is now. Back to Acro. Could use um, auto-tune for this as well, but I much prefer to do it manually. Yeah, it's going well. Excellent. Very handy little app, the Speedy B uh, app. Connected by Bluetooth to the Speedy B F405 wing. Makes for uh, adjustments in the field. Very easy, much easier than using a, a laptop. and much more uh, portable. There we go, we'll bring it into land. Nice, the Aresto grass stops it well. So there you go, that shows how you can use the Speedy Bee app out in the field. Even with my cheapo Android, uh, it's a Samsung Galaxy A13, a, a quite a cheap phone, so it works well with that. Thanks for watching, see you in the next video.